Hello my dear guys, very very good evening. How is everybody? This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Yes guys, I am back to where I belong. Yep, I am back to the studio. I am back in Bangalore. So, how is everybody by the way? So, hi Dhruv, hi Shakuntala. Hey Frog, the Frog, you're back. Awesome. Hi, Zida Zayed. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders, Beta. Yes, the class is going to start. Naresh, hi, welcome. Pari, Payal, Om Prakash, Sushama. Lovely, guys. Lovely to see every one of you. Welcome to this session. You know what? This session is going to be quite amazing because we are going to speak about something which very, very, very few of you would have actually seen. All right. The deserts. And we're going to, you know what the speciality is? We are going to speak about the hottest desert and the coldest desert. Yeah? So, it's going to be interesting. You will understand what's a desert, what kind of people live in desert. Do first of all people live in deserts? If at all they live, what kind of people live? Uh, princess, I am awesome. How are you? Hey Candy, I like your name here. So, Gayatri, lovely to see every one of you guys. Superb. So, are you guys ready? Give me yo. Hi, Smita Sa. How are you? Hi, Rishika. How does Wi Fi work? Good point. We will do it in the coming session. Wi Fi, coming session. Don't worry. Point taken. Hi, Mariam. Welcome, Devan Shu. Guys, lovely to see every one of you. In case I have missed some names, pardon me. Okay? Great. Coming back. Give me a yo, guys. Let me start. So, if at all you're wondering, what is this channel? There are a few of you who are new to Vedantu Young Wonders. This channel is for 6th, 7th and 8th graders. And what do we do? We take care of you. We got you covered completely. We take care of you from math, right, science, social and English grammar. And uh, entire your syllabus. Guys, every session is a live session with a quiz. Non-academically, we are running a lot of uh, series. Guys, by the way, one more interesting news, in fact, two more. One excellent math question paper ka series is going to start. Priya ma'am will start it. And one more math foundation series is going to be started from Monday. So watch out, be there, okay? Lot of exciting stuff is waiting all of you. Great. Hi, Shashwat. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders, beta. Hi, Mahi. All right, now coming back. Right? So, I take 6th, 7th and 8th, all 3. It's not only 7th, guys. Okay, coming back, guys. Uh, yeah. The point is, we have got academic as well as non-academic offerings. Non-academically, we've got how does it work. We've got a series on v Pachala, You know, silly mistakes. How to avoid them. And many more general knowledge and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the bell icon as well. Now, in case you like the master teachers of Vedanta really, really well and you would want to study from them, there is a great, great chance. Vedanta has come out from an, uh, with an amazing subscription which is going to give you unlimited live quizzes. Fun learning, at the same time, you're going to unlimited live classes with quizzes, of course. You will have a lot of fun learning at the same time. Uh, you will enjoy interaction with quizzes. And yes, you become rock solid. You can compete with your fellow students. Anytime watch replays. All right, if you miss a session or if you did not understand a session, you want to watch it again, you have it. And guess what else? Master teachers give you notes, right? In every session, you can download them as a PDF and keep it for your permanent reference. And uh, any most important, Doubts. When you get doubts, any number of doubts, you can get them solved. Hi, Amrit. Welcome back, Bita. Sarvesh. Hi, Trusha. Hi. Trishna, right? Hi. So, in class, unlimited doubt solving with tests and assignments as well. And to add on top of all these things, 5,000 plus topic-wise, chapter-wise courses. This is amazing, guys. Make use of it. Should What should I do? There is a link pinned to your description. Go to that link, look at the features of the subscription and more features, more classes, very less price. 
All right, the link is pinned to the subscription and to get an additional discount, use this coupon code SRPRO. Got it? Great. Suman, Lata, Beta, I will take it for all three grades, six, seven and eight, don't worry. So I think I spoke about it. If you take a one month subscription, you're saving 25%. One class is hardly 11 rupees, guys. Make use of it. So I think I've already given the link in the description and the coupon code is SRPRO. Hi, Palak, Bharti. So guys, it's time to start our story on desserts. Ready? Give me a yo, let me start. Come on, come on, come on. Smita, you figured it out. Good, good, good. Now, after that, we are going to get into the Pariksha, the complete revision series. Every session will be full of questions and quizzes. Tanu Chaudhary Beta, my dear Tanu. No, not at all. I am not ignoring you. See, guys, the scroll is happening very fast. So, I tend to miss out on a few names. Don't take me wrong, okay? Please. Okay, I think it's time. <clears throat> so, the hot desert, Sahara. So what is that desert all about? What kind of vegetation you know, grow there? Crops are they grown there? And what kind of people live there? How do they live their life? Everything. Similarly, the cold desert, Ladakh as well. Here we go. So guys, uh, there are few deserts which are like hot like fire, right? And there are places like which are cold like ice. And these, you know, Places with extreme temperatures are mostly, mostly deserts. Not all, mostly desert, desert area of the world. So typically very less rainfall, very, very rare vegetation here and there. Rarely you see an extreme temperature. Heat like 45, 50 degrees. Cold like minus 10, minus 20, minus 40 also some places. Right? So... Low rainfall, scanty vegetation, as well as extreme temperatures. Depending on the temperature, you can claim to call a desert as a hot desert or a cold desert. Clear? Now, let's start with hot desert, Sahara. Yes. You can, you can. Even in a replay, you can watch a live quiz. That's in the subscription, not here, okay? By the way. Now coming back, so guys, Sahara, it's the world's larger desert, 8.54 million square kilometers. How big is it? It just goes on and on and on. You know what? It touches 11 countries. Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Maur Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia and Western Sahara. Whoops. Such a big one, guys. That's why 8.54 million square kilometers. And <clears throat> plains, plains generally full of sand, plains, deserted plateaus. And guys, it's not like Sahara is, a, you know, at sea level, almost 2,500 meters high because it elevates slowly. So you should also remember this. Sahara, 2,500 meters in some places. It gets elevated like that. Okay. Hi, John V. Shiva Menti is very much there. Now coming to climate. Scorching heat. If at all I have to speak about it in one phrase. Scorching heat. Sahara, the temperatures go, in fact, a little more than 50 degrees. Guys, do you know what is 50 degrees? If you stand in the sun at 50 degrees for a few minutes, you will get burns. Right? So unbelievably hot. Skies will be crystal clear, moisture, you know, if, you, if there is a drop of water within few seconds, it will get ev evaporated. And on the other end, nights are very, very cold, even up to 0 degrees. Yes, water is available, guys, water is available. Without water, people won't live there, right? Water is available, not everywhere, in few places. I'll tell you, I'm going to speak about it. Cool? So I hope you are clear what is the climate like. Super hot in the day, up to 50 degrees. Super cold in the night, even zero degrees. Cool. So what kind of vegetation? Plants and animals live there. Vegetation is very scanty, guys. Here and there, very rare cactus, which will grow even without water. 
Date palms are known for desert. Deserts are known for date palms, right? And acacia. So this is the type of vegetation. And there are places where there is an oasis. All right, oasis, green island with date palms surrounding them. Very rarely, very rarely you see this oasis with water. Camels, hyenas, jackals, foxes, scorpions, and a few varieties of snakes and lizards. Camels, hyenas, foxes, scorpions, and lizards. All right, a few varieties of lizards with snakes. These are typically the fauna, the different animals and reptiles that live there. Cool? Yeah, Pokhran, land of seven oases. But we are not speaking about that here. Tanno people do live in Sahara. I'm going to speak about it. Hold on. So guys, I hope you are clear till this, right? Though I am moving a little fast. People. Guys, Sahara, since it is, it is a huge, you can't uh, leave such a huge place vacant, right? There are people who live there. Sahara is inhabited by various groups of people. Bedouins and Tuaregs. Bedouins and Tuaregs. These are two groups of people who live in Sahara. They do livestock rearing. Goats, sheep, camels, horses. That's typically what they do. <clears throat> you see these ropes? These are, you know what they wear around their heads. They are very heavy ropes to handle the heat. Right. Protection against dust, storms, sand, lot of sandstorms occur. So when it is required, they can close their face and eyes. So that is why they wear these heavy ropes. So now you know Sahara is inhabited by different groups of people. Bedouins and Tuaregs are very, you know, uh, known ones. What they do? Cattle rearing or livestock rearing. Goats, sheep, camels, horses. All right, clear? Yeah, Pares. Yes, yes, yes. Next question, someone was asking, sir, how do they get water? Here it is. So there is an oasis in the Sahara and the Nile Valley in Egypt, which support, for, you know, the settled population. That's how they get water. <clears throat> and through, with, with the help of that, people grow date palms and also crops like rice, wheat, barley and beans. Rice, wheat, barley and beans. Egyptian cotton is very, very famous. All right, discovery of uh, oil, guys. Certain play areas of the deserts, you have oil, typically in Algeria, Libya, Egypt. And that is making Sahara Desert a lot more sought after. People look after that because there is oil inside. Few places. And there are also minerals, mineral traces, iron, phosphorus, manganese, and uranium. Right? Yes. No, we do not have Sheikh Ziba. So guys, are you clear till this? Come on. Sarvesh, hi beta. Clear till this, give me a yo. Is everyone clear? Till this. Hi Samita, hi Om. Jasmine, hi. Tripti, 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 okay. <clears throat> which part of desert? The desert, the areas of Sahara which is uh, which goes over Algeria, Libya and Egypt. A lot of uh, oil traces are found. Okay? Cool, awesome. Now, depending on the cultural landscape of Sahara is undergoing change because oil is found, certain, you know, crops, certain vegetation is also there. Slowly from camels, people are moving into trucks because a bit of industrialization is happening. I hope you all of you are understanding, right? So, you know, when oil is found, obviously industries look for that. When industries look for that, they don't travel in horses, right? They don't. Camels. They instead, they have innovated, created paths. You started using trucks and all. So the areas in Sahara is undergoing change. Trucks are replacing camels in the salt trade. Tuaregs are seen acting as guides. See what the Tuaregs are doing? They act as guides for tourists to Sahara. Whoever comes to Sahara, they act as tourists. Okay, and lot of nomadic herdsmen, they keep traveling to city. They keep shifting to city for finding jobs, uh, typically in oil and gas operations. Hi, Kushi. 
क्लियर हाय जानवी राइट ऑसम गाइस नाउ कमिंग बैक टू लद्दाख आवर ओन लद्दाख गाइस द मोस्ट फेमस लद्दाख व्हिच गॉट इनटू अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स राइट because of a little chinese invasion which we have successfully we are able to handle now coming to ladakh is a very very cold desert guys temperature can go even up to minus 40 degrees minus 40 do you know what it is freezing cold literally it is freezing cold there yeah vihari hi beta hi arin zabed zaid zabed right zabed Karakoram range, Karakoram range. We will talk. Karakoram range is the coldest range. Trust me. But yes, it has its own speciality. I'm going to speak about it now. So now, typically Ladakh, you have two ranges. Ladakh typically is in the Great Himalayas, guys. Two ranges. One, the eastern side of Jammu Kashmir. All right. And uh, the Karakoram range is the north, and the Sanskar mountain in the south. Right. Karakoram range in the north and Sanskar mountain in the south. So a lot of rivers flow through Ladakh. Indus is the most common and the very huge one among them. So the rivers follow deep valleys. Areas around the rivers they are called deep valleys. See, this is typically the Ladakh region. You see, right now. So once again, I repeat, guys, for all of you. It it is Ladakh is a great region, you know, region in the Great Himalayas. Once you know, typically they runs through east part of Kashmir, J and K, to the Karakoram range inside the north, and Zanskar range in the the mountains towards the south, and lot of rivers. Indus is the most common one, and rivers form deep valleys flowing through it. Cool. Moving on. Hello, Shivam Uttam. Hi. Several glaciers, ice glaciers, are found in Ladakh, and uh, Gangri Glacier is one famous one. The altitude, the height of Ladakh varies from 3,000 in Kargil. Kargil is over 3,000 meters high from sea level. Karakoram is up to 8,000 meters high. Cool. So because of the high altitude. Ladakh is extremely cold. Already a desert, where the climate will normally be extreme, but uh, just because of the height, it's extremely cold. Karakoram range and all is amazingly cold. So the dry temperature in summer, all right, generally is around zero degrees. Zero is the summer. All right, our uh, night temperature is somewhere like minus thirty, and in winters and all up to minus forty most of the time. Guys, can you believe this? Minus thirty, minus forty, not livable. Trust me. In such a cold temperature, our army men, our beloved army men, are standing there, trying to protect us. Correct? So, big salute to all of them. As it lies in the rain shadow of the Himalayas, little rainfall, very very less rainfall, up to ten centimeters. Ten centimeters is a little okay, average. China is it true? So what kind of vegetation there? Flora and fauna. So very less rainfall, right? So very less vegetation is found there, and here and there patches of very rare patches of grasses are there, and uh, shrubs for animals to graze. Groves of willows and poplars. Willows and poplars are seen in the valleys. During the summers, apples, apricots, walnuts. Grow. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, fruit trees like apples, apricots, walnuts, they grow. True. Yes. Yeah, social studies. We have Pariksha, guys. Hi, Nina. So, during the summer, you see apples, apricots, and walnuts. All right. But generally, during winters and all, very, very scarce, so scanty, scanty vegetation. Cool. So, regarding birds, robins, redshaw, Tibetan snowcock, raven, hope all you know generally birds. Lot of birds they can handle the cold. Some of these are migratory; they keep traveling, moving from one place to another. Regarding animals, animals which can you know 
handle that chillness, cold, with very thick fur, wild goats, wild sheep, yak, and few very special type of uh, winter dogs, as we call it. These are the type of uh, animals that are there. So, and these animals typically are rare for milk, meat, and heights. Yak's milk is used to make cheese and butter. The yak's milk. Look at the yak. This is how it can hold the cold. So, you know, so thick for, right? The hair of the sheep, all right, is generally used to make, sheep and the goat used to make uh, the wool, woolen. Hi, Shailesh. Yes, Kanan, yes. Hi, Prabjot. So, guys, are you clear till this? You know, what kind of flora and fauna, what kind of climate is there? All right, where is the dark, etc. Come on, come on, come on. Hi, Srishti. Hi, Lavanya. Aman. Hi, 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 Kanna. So, guys, lovely to see all of you. Super clear. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. All you need to know is understand how hot, you know, Sahara is. What are the 11 countries through which it travels? And you should also know what kind of climate is there and what kind of vegetation, flora and fauna is there. And uh, you should also know what kind of people live there and how Sahara is undergoing a change. Similarly, come back to Ladakh, how cold it is and why is it cold and how it is divided into those two, you know, the Karakoram and the Zanskar ranges, mountain ranges. And what is the height? 3,000 to 8,000, you know, meters. And you should also know what is the climate like and why. What is the flora and fauna? What are the birds and animals? Typically the fauna. All right. So, and what, how people, what people do for a living? People are generally Muslims or Buddhists, typically in the Ladakh region. Famous uh, monasteries are there. Her Hemes, Tikse, She, and Lamayuru. Right? And summers, people cultivate potatoes, peas, uh, beans, and turnips. I like the name Malala Yousafzai. Inspiration. In fact, this name is an inspiration for all of us. I am fine, the frog. Anushka, hi. So, guys, uh, women not only work in the fields, they also manage, they run businesses and shops. Leh, which is the capital of Ladakh, it's connected by both airways as well as roadways. Tourism, people travel a lot to Ladakh because it's a, it's a very, very interesting tourist spot. Tourism is a major activity. So, look at it. Gompers, treks, glaciers, ceremonies and festivities are an attraction to Ladakh. Life of uh, people again like Sahara, here also it is changing because of industrialization or modernization. And however, there is very less uh, resources like water, fuel, all right. They are used, you know, the resources, they are used with uh, reverence and care. All right, nothing is wasted because that region is anything, if you want to get it, it is very difficult. So every resource available, it is used with a lot of care. Hi, Arman. Okay. So guys, the wait is over. Pariksha is going to come. Be ready. Revision will start. So are you guys ready? Are you clear about? I think, uh, you know, without my knowledge, I gave a, a recap on uh, Sahara as well as Ladakh. Are you guys clear? Are you ready for a mentee now? Come on, give me a yo. Hey, Seymak, hey, Masankari. No, you should not ask. You should remember now. It's so simple because the data points are very less, right? I have not given you a lot of data points to remember. And more importantly, I just did a recap. So, uh, here we go. So, here it comes. A mentee for all of you. Ready? Okay, guys, I want all of you to open your browser and go to www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com, and type the code 6206090. I repeat, 6206090. Smita, you guess it.
Guys, I repeat, please open your browser. Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge or Safari if you're using a Mac. And type, go to the address bar and type www.menti.com. Once you go there, it's going to ask you for a code. Please enter the code. Type this code, 6206090. Samhita, you only mentioned the frog. I will call you the frog. <clears throat> Just kidding. Okay. Where it is? Be ready, want to start? Come on, come on, come on, I want all of you to join fast. <clears throat> 30 seconds time. Let's jump in and check. Looks like I need to refresh once. Guys, I'm refreshing for all of you so that you guys don't miss out on anything. Here it comes. Okay. Are you ready? Time to start. First question. Harini, I think you should check now. It should open. First question is going to be there on your screens. Here we go. Okay. So guys, what is the first question? How many countries touch Sahara Desert? Come on, yeah, it's a sitter. You guys are going to rock this. 11, 13, 16, 14. Super simple. Can I ask you a simpler question than this? <clears throat> yeah, Vridhi is like kind of rocking. Oh, got it, got it, got it, Samita. Time's running. We got hardly another five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time is up. How many of you chose option A? Oops, good. Guys, how did you pick 13? Where did 13 come from? I never mentioned 13 at all throughout the session. Okay, now, so after the first question, Sonu, Shalom, Joanna, Charvi, and Srinan, top five. High Pixel, Mitrava, Vibor, Tejo, and Manas. High five, Manas. Big high five to you. Shailesh, you want the code now? 6206090. Moving on. Question number two. So where is question number two? Here it comes on your screens. Now. And the question is, the maximum temperature of Sahara during daytime is about 50. And nighttime, how much is it? Zero degrees, 10 degrees, 30, 40. Rudresh, hi beta. Thank you, Samita. Zero, ten, thirty, forty. Which is the right answer? <laughs> Pariksha, you don't need to find. We will be announcing. Don't worry. How many of you chose zero? Option A. Again, a few of you are always getting this. I don't know where did you get this. Okay. So, two questions are done. Five more to go. Looks like Sonu is rocking at top. At the top. Oh, no, no, not really. Shalom is at the top now. Shalom, Sonu, Sharvi, Ahmad, Shimam, top five. Swati, Vishwajit, Hypixel, Tamim, and Madhav. Six to ten. Minal Christi. I am not ignoring you better. So, question number three. You guys are ready to rock? 
<clears throat> here it comes. And the question is, which of these trees is not found in Sahara? One, which is not found? Mango, Acacia, Date Palm, all of these. Come on, guys. Mango, Acacia, Date Palm, all of these. One among this is not found. Which is that? <clears throat> Time is running. Three, two, one. How many of you chose mango? Did I ever mention mango that it is grown, growing in Sahara? Good. May most of you nailed it. Lovely. You guys are two rock stars here. So now, Shalom. Mm, wow. Shalom is rocking. Followed by Ama, no, Shivam, Swati, Ama, Hypixel. Top five. And Madhav, Ritesh, Tejo, Mitra, and Sharvi. Six to ten. Minal Christi, beta, you have to go to menti.com, the website, M-E-N-T-I. And on the other end, the moment you go there, it will say, please enter the code. The code is 6206090. All right. Try it and join. So here we go. Question number four, right? If I'm not wrong. Question number four. Three more to go. Little charms. How are you? So what is the fourth question? Here it pops off onto your screens. So in Egypt, which crop is grown? Now itself I can tell the answer. Maize, wheat, cotton, none of these. One among this is, I'll give you a clue. One among this is true, it happens. One among this is grown, which is that. Shailesh, Shailesh, thank you, Beta. Love you too. So, what's happening? Okay. Hoy, come on, how did you choose maize, cotton, and all? Well, sorry, maize, wheat, and all? Mm, see, guys, when I was speaking clearly, I mentioned that cotton is grown in Egypt. Mm, okay. So four questions are done, and where do you guys stand? Wow, wow, Shalom is not good, ready to leave it. Shalom, Shivam, Swati, Hypixel, and Ritesh, top F5. Sarfraz, Ahmad, Shogun, Digdarshi, and Kashish, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my dear kids, here it comes on your screens. What? Question number five, two more to go. And the question is, what is the capital of Ladakh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, guys, sit here. Jammu, Srinagar, New Delhi, Leh. Little charms, come on, you should not say that, okay? Priya Mam is a very good teacher. So what is the, which one is the capital of uh, Leh, guys? Oh, did I give you the answer, by the way? <laughs> but anyhow, good that time is gone. Almost all of you got it right. Leh is the capital of Ladakh. So, five questions are done. And two more to go. Shalom is at the top with a good lead of 27 points, which is further going to increase to 31 points. 31? Oh, no. Oops. Yeah, correct. 31. Shalom, Swati, Shivam, Hypixel, Sarfaraz. Top 5. Kashish, Ritesh, Shrudan, Sarg, Shagun, and Harshita. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, question number. <coughs> Silesh, thank you. <laughs> question number 6. Only one, one more to go. Come on, guys. Be on your toes. Gandan geared. Let's see. So what? Which of the following birds are sighted in Ladakh? Migratory birds. I'll give you examples. Robins, red star, raven, all of these. 
संजय सिंगर अमोग रॉबिन रेड स्टार रेवन ऑल ऑफ दीज सो वॉट्स एपनिंग लेट्स चेक थ्री टू वन ह्यूर इट कॉम्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू चोज ऑल ऑफ दीज a good good number of people so only one more question the final question to go but before that the leaderboard says shalom still and well at the top followed by shivam is going to number 2 swati sarfaraz kashish 3 4 five sujan vaibhav harshita shagun and deep prince so guys the final question for today here it comes on your screens and the question ready all of you bhavana are you ready <clears throat> you have to answer you have to go to that website beta hemis in the ladakh is famous for what hemis monastery church temple mosque hmm. Hemis is famous for what? Monastery, temple, church, temple, and mosque. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Better the website name is Menti. M e n t i. Menti dot com. See here, what is mentioned? Go to Menti dot com and use this code. Missing it. Monasteries. All right. As I said, uh, Buddhists and the Muslims are the major ones in Ladakh. Okay, so this a uh, monastery, Hemis. Okay, who's gonna win? Is it Shalom or something? Someone else? Let's check. <coughs> guys, Shalom is winning. Guys, wow, 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 with a good lead. Many, many congratulations, Shalom. Great job done. Amazing job done. Keep it up. And Shivam, Swati, Sarf, Raj, Kashish. Kudos to all of you. Great job, guys. Harshita, Vaibhav, Prince, Shagun, and Shujan, awesome! Great job, you guys were part of the leaderboard till the end. Great job! And yes, there could be so many of you who got the answers right, but you just did not get in there. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Well tried, well attempted. You guys are also warriors. Keep it up. Keep it going. You will get it. Keep trying. Okay? Lovely guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the session today. And yes. hit the like button if you guys are clear with this uh, concept of the deserts life in the desert and do subscribe to the channel so hit the like button and subscribe guys let us know lovely lovely to see all of you guys today especially in the studio i love generally i love standing and delivering the session so this makes me happy and yes what more happiness than speaking to all of you yeah hi gracie sharma No, you can't. Great, thank you so much, guys. Lovely interacting with all of you. I will meet you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is bye bye from Sundar Ravindranathan. Good evening, guys. Take care.